Hi everyone, I'm Jen Sheffer, Digital Learning Coach, and in today's tutorial, we're going to learn how to create a quiz in Discovery Education. I'm going to show you two methods. The first is to start in your Discovery Ed Teacher Dashboard, and you will click on the quiz icon. Now, any quizzes that you create, you will see shown here. If this is your first time, this space will be empty. Um, as you begin to create quizzes, you'll also retrieve the results from this page over here on the left-hand side. Um, on the right-hand side, this is where you will start to create new quizzes. We have two options, either create new or ask a live quiz. We're going to focus on creating a new quiz, and it's going to be from a video template. So we're going to select this and then click Next Step. We want this to be a video quiz where, where we embed questions into a video, very similar to Edpuzzle, if you're familiar with that. Then we click on Next Step. Now, here's where um, it can get a little tricky. Um, you'll want to search for the exact title of the video that you want to make a quiz based off of. So I'm going to say Animal, Life Cycle, and Butterfly. Um, and as I scroll through, this is the video that I actually want to make the quiz based on. So this can be a little cumbersome to find the video if you don't already have it and you don't know the exact title. It's, it's kind of just aimlessly searching, if you will. So I want to show you a second method. So if I go back to, I'm going to click on the, the D and the, the, the Discovery Ed logo, and I'm going to click on Leave. I'm going to come back to my teacher dashboard. So um, hopefully you are aware of your content folders and or the quick list. So this is where the quick list comes in handy. So if I have added something to my quick list, animal life cycle, butterflies, for example, I can quickly open this video and here's where I can create the quiz. I click on build an activity. Even though it says the word activity, this is where I can make the video quiz. It's essentially taking me right back to the area that I was just showing you. So I'm going to click on video quiz and then click next. I also have the option to make a um, more elaborate slideshow um, using the studio creator, but I can just make a real quick quiz from here. So I'm going to click on next and then it walks me through the process. I'm going to add a new question and by default the question type is short answer. So if I click this drop down, I want to select multiple choice. I type the question there. What is the first stage in the life cycle of a butterfly? I can add um, choices, answer choices, and I need to um, indicate which one is correct. If I don't add a third choice, I have to delete this. If I want to add a fourth or fifth choice, I can add as many choices as I want. So just um, keep that in mind. So I'm going to delete this just for the purpose of this tutorial. I know that the um, question appears, I want the question to appear at 30 seconds into the video. So you would need to preview the video and know where those questions are going to appear. You can add teacher notes if you need to, and you can also change the point value. The default point value is one. So once you've done that, you can hit save and play. The question was saved successfully. Caterpillars seem very hungry because... I'm going to just pause that. And now I can go to add a new question. Again, change the type of question and just follow the same process. And when I'm done, I can hit save and close. Now, if you don't finish within a certain amount of time, you can always reopen that quiz and it's going to pick up exactly where you left off. So if you need to make a 10 question quiz and you only get three or four questions done before the end of the day, you can go, go ahead and launch it at any time. So when you're ready to launch it with your kids, you're going to hit launch. You can um, either assign it so that students will complete it on their own. It's going to be in the um, student dashboard and they'll have to complete it by your due date or you can launch it now where you would give your students a live activity code and you can engage uh, the students in real time so that's completely up to you and um, whichever um, uh, method is going to meet your needs so um, i'm just going to go ahead and hit cancel here i'm going to hit save and close now I'm brought back to my quizzes page and you can see here 
I can reopen this quiz. And once it reopens, you can see my first question is here and I can start by, I can add a new question and I can continue to build the quiz. So it does save automatically and it allows me to um, continue building. So I'm going to um, go back and I wanna show you the second way of um, launching a quiz, second type of quiz, if you will. So I'm going to open up quizzes again and this ask live quiz. This is a really neat feature. So I can give it a name and I can say life cycle. And this is what you're going to do with students in real time when they're in front of you. So I'm going to hit launch. And once it launches, I have two options. I can invite my students to participate in this live quiz with a link, or I can invite them with a code. So the student, I would recommend having them enter the code. So students would go to their Discovery Ed uh, homepage and lo log in with their Google accounts, and they'll be prompted to enter this code. So you can write that on the board. Um, and uh, your students will enter. And once they've done that, um, you will see here, it says waiting for students to join. Um, without having students live, this, this is a little bit tricky to show in a, in a tutorial, but um, it, I've done this in the classroom with students and it works seamlessly. So the students would all join and then you would verbalize your question and they would respond. Um, and then you would click finish when, when they're all done and they've all responded. Um, the other option, once this starts, once your live activity starts, you can either um, hide names or show names. Um, the other thing is that you also have the ability to um, ask an exit ticket. So if you select exit ticket on the student's iPad, they're going. it's very visual, so they're going to see uh, an I feel confident with a green smiley face, I need more practice is orange with a fair uh, face. They look similar to emojis and then it's too difficult is a red face with sort of a frown. So you could launch um, a quick live question at the end of your lesson, no matter what it is, and just get a quick pulse on your students and how they're feeling about the content that you just introduced, or maybe it's a lesson and you're wrapping it up, um, but that exit ticket is highly visual for the students. I apologize, I can't show it to you here now, but like I said, I tried it with um, third grade and they really enjoyed it. Um, you get, if it's a short answer, um, if it's a live question, it's a short answer. The results are displayed for you um, in a really great visual format. And it gives you as a teacher um, a really deep understanding of, of where your students are at in terms of their learning. So I hope that you will give quizzes a try. Um, they are quick and easy and they will give you really meaningful information um, to help continue uh, your kids with their learning and uh, achieving the learning goals. So I appreciate you watching and stay tuned for additional Discovery Education videos.